Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Purple Hyacinth episode 31 and 32. And if you guys remember from my last time, the last time I uploaded, I was so speechless. And yeah, so I am prepared, all right? Prepare for the next one. All right, guys, if you guys enjoy my webtoon reaction and reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. It's so early. At least an empty office is quiet. I never thought of you as an early bird, Liddell. Huh? Good morning, Lieutenant. I didn't hear you come in. <clears throat> I noticed. What are you doing in the office so early? It's barely five. I could ask you the same. But if you must know, I'm finishing up my paperwork. Paperwork? I told you. You've never had to wait on me for paperwork, William. Stop looking at me like I just said I'm off chasing pink elephants. It's not the first time I've come in early to do my due diligence as sergeant. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Remind me why you were promoted in the first place. I must admit, I forget sometimes. Oi. Guys, will you stop yelling? It's 5 a.m. What the? Did you two conspire to give me a heart attack this morning? I came to work early to finally get some peace. You're the one that, that disturbed peace in this office. Early birds of a feather. <laughs> been falling behind on my paperwork, so I wanted to catch up. I guess I've been going on too many midnight dates these days. Ken? What? F my coffee cup. That's Grumpy Cat's desk. Oh my god, we need to clean it before he gets here or we'll all be dead meat. You are dead meat, Liddell. You knocked it over. It's your coffee cup, you butterfinger. You let it fly away. You know, this is the first time, but I really wish I never met you, Kim. Don't worry, I actually wish it all the time. What on earth are you doing, Hawks? Don't you see this as a crisis? I'm falling. I'm filling out a request to change precincts before I get killed. This is an act of treason, William. You can try to run, but your soul will never escape Grumpy Cat's wrath. <laughs> Purple Hyacinth, episode 31. Hey, adventure time at 5 a.m. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> huh? What is that? Next time you're going to... <gasps> oh! <gasps> oh. <gasps> oh. <gasps> mm -mm. The signs are pretty obvious. He has no offens offensive or defensive wounds beside the cut on his neck. Forensic e Examiner, Grace Riverhood. Forensic Unit, 11th Precinct, Artilus Police Department. Considering the rotting skin around the cut, the blade must have been, a co been coat with a powerful poison. The autopsy will confirm it, but I'm ready to, be to bet that we're looking at the effects of Golden Viper Venom. Forensic Examiner Andrews Laws. The venom spread rapidly through the bloodstream and burns through all type of tissues, skin and cartilage while also causing mass hemorrhage, hemorrhaging. It reacts with blood and produces a chemical which increases the blood pressure ex exponentially until the heart can't stand it. The vapor released during the reaction are highly toxic and he must have suffocated until his heart finally burst or his cranial arteries. 
based on his bleeding, I'll say he was the, it was the aneurysm that finally did it. The type of venom is extremely rare, but I've heard such murders from other precincts. A phantom scythe assassin, no doubt. Why would anyone want to do this to Harvey? None of the guards working last night heard a single thing. They just assume Harvey went home. I doubt Harvey could have had any personal enemies who would bother to go to this such expensive extremes to get rid of him. I guess it's his phantom scythe taunting us. Maybe they sent uh, one of their assassins to deliver a message to us. Their methods are too clean for a hobbyist and they are too well funded to be acting alone. He wasn't necessarily a specific target. The assassin could, could have something him because they needed a victim and he was the only one here. I can't read that. Do we have an estimate time of death? Kim? Kim, are you right? Kim, you should sit down or for a... I need to go finish the, the paperwork. Huh? She's really upset. Him! Officer Sinclair, I need you to go to the interrogation room and give your report to, Mar uh, to March on what happened this morning. Can it wait? Well, the other two already stormed off, so we'll have to start with you. Focus, officer. Lieutenant Hawks went after her. Liddell is fine. Yes, sir, of course, I'll do it. You know the drill. I need, I need to ask you a couple of questions. If you saw anything abnormal this morning, any clues, etc. I'll talk to Hawks and Liddell when they get back. Purple Hyacinth, episode 32. <sighs> Kim! Kim! Wait! She can't hear me. Hold out. How is a music box? <sighs> oh no, surely he's just sleeping. Can't you see? He's trying to charm you with the how drop dead gorgeous he is. Hey, Lauren, let's go. This calls for celebration. <sighs> He's cold. Kim! Finally found you. What are you doing here? Just checking if you're okay. Well, that's surprising. I thought you despised me. I do, I ju- I'm just... I'm just fulfilling my duty as lieutenant. You shouldn't say that. If you truly care about someone, just tell them. You don't need to be like, oh, it's my job to, to worry about you. No. It means more when you approach someone as a friend. Come on, dude. To make sure my subordinates are alright. <laughs> <laughs> you don't worry too much. I'm just a little surprised. That's all. I'll be okay. Mm. Mm, you don't normally react like that, though. Usually you make awful jokes at crime scenes, and it makes me question your sanity. But today you were... You reacted like a normal person. And weirdly, that was scarier. What? <laughs> 
Well, Lieutenant, it's nice to know that my, you question my sanity. <laughs> it's just that when I was little, I used to see cops like some sort of superheroes. But over time, I realized how human they were. Their clock stops sometimes, just like everyone else. Now, when I recognize that same look in people's eyes, I wonder if they'll ever realize it. That superheroes die too. You seem quite fond of that music box, aren't you? We should really go back to the prison. <laughs> they are probably waiting for our dis dispositions. And infuriating Hermaine is really not on my bucket list this morning. Huh? Oh, Lauren. Oh, this looks so cool. Golden Viper, you say? Yes, the forensic unit was quite positive about that. I see. Well, that's quite unusual. And expensive. Whatever the message the killer wanted to send. I wish I could find that as the assassin who did this to Harvey and sent him to, to rot in jail. Oh my god, that made me stutter so much. Ugh. I could have been the one to kill Harvey, you know that? What would you have done? That is a good question, you know? I would have killed you. <laughs> At least you're clear, officer. I suppose I wouldn't expect less of you. Do you have any idea who it could be? I have my suspicions, although I'm not sure of anything. I can find the person who did it for you. <laughs> However, we have much more pressing matters we need to talk about tonight. Flemings, we'll be back in town in two days and we better start planning our little infiltration. Do we have enough time to build a file on him? Nope. And somehow I have the feeling we shouldn't neutralize him yet. I want to learn more about him before moving against him. He could be useful later. So, huh? When you said I had to dress up, you meant... Yep. I borrowed one of their uniforms a few hours ago. And trust me, you are going to hate it. Uh, what the? Of course it's a cliffhanger. Like what outfit did he get her? To wear like what uniform is it man so like i was really surprised that kim reacted that way running away from the scene and just like avoiding everything to cool off right and she had always like you saw the recap of how she is she had always make jokes you know when she's at the crime scene of other people but i guess it hit differently when it's someone you know someone you grew close with you know so it kind of made me a little sad a little bit relatable, but yeah. All right, guys, if you guys enjoy my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!